what is up guys so this video will show you how to mount an ssd onto a desktop and then how to install an operating system onto the ssd and finally how to boot by default onto the ssd as you can see on this particular hard drive bay on the top there are four screw holes which are exactly the right dimensions for the 2.5 inch ssd now even if there isn't any hole pre-drilled into the bay, you can use rubber bands or some sort of tape to tape down your SSD onto this hard drive bay. To connect the SSD onto the motherboard, you need a SATA 3 cable connecting the SATA 3 port into the SSD. Then connect the power cable as shown here. Okay, after connecting the SSD, we will need to install an operating system onto the SSD. To do this, put an installation media into the computer. This can be a USB or an installation disk. Reboot the computer and the following screen will pop up. Click install. I don't have a product key. Choose the version that you've bought. Click next. I accept. Next and then choose custom install windows only choose the ssd partition which is the unallocated space one here click next windows will be installing onto your new ssd when windows finish installing onto the ssd the computer reboots and now we are onto the windows setup stage Finally, we need to configure the system so that we boot into the SSD every time. To do this, we need to enter the BIOS of our system. For the MSI motherboard, this can be done by keep pressing the delete key after you restart the computer. Go into settings, boot. Make sure that the boot option number one is set to the SSD and not the old hard drive. The boot mode, we want to select UEFI. BBS priorities, choose Windows Boot Manager. Then all we need to do is save and exit and reboot. Now it should boot onto the SSD instead of your old hard drive. There we go. 